Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dr. Connolly and I am the instructor for Explorations in Cell Biology and Evolution at RIT this summer. I want to give you a brief overview today to the course itself in the online format. It doesn't matter whether you are on RIT's campus in New York, whether you are on an RIT campus abroad, whether you are on a co-op, whether you are sitting on your parents' couch. All of us are on the same footing in this course because everything is through mycourses.rat.edu. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the layout of the course on my courses. I'm also going to give you a brief introduction to Mastering Biology, which is our platform for homework and additional participation assessments in this course. Okay? Are you ready? This is what our course will look like when you go into it. You'll see the announcement section. This is something that you should be checking on a regular basis because I will post any announcements that you need for the course, including due dates. I will update the due dates every week so that you can keep on track. This is a good checklist for you to make sure you're completing everything. I will add anything about the course that might be troublesome for the students. I'll post it here so everyone knows and can be up to speed. There's a little welcome message down at the bottom. I will tell you that this announcement section can become full and you may need to go to the bottom and click the show all so you can see all of the announcements that have been posted in this course. My contact information is in the top corner. The Pearson widget is here that will lead you to the Mastering Biology homeworks and other assessments. As you see, I have posted the Mastering Biology schedule for the entire summer. You will not be able to access all of these things all of the time. The homeworks, you'll be able to access about one week in advance of the due date. This is to help you keep on track with things without overwhelming you. The orange assignments are the additional participation assessment assignments, and you'll be able to get into those um, earlier on, but I encourage you not to work too far ahead so that you're not missing questions because you're not ready for them. You will see that this is a very packed schedule. Those additional participation assignments are due on Mondays, which are exam days for us. And when we look at the homeworks being due in blue on the Wednesdays and Fridays every week, and the greens are adaptive follow-ups. These are assignments that you have to do or can choose to do for bonus points if you do not earn greater than a 95% on the homework itself. If you earn greater than a 95%, you get the automatic bonus points for these assignments and you don't have to do them. If you choose not to do them, they do not count against you. You just do not earn the bonus points. Okay, so that's the overview of mastering. I will show you what it looks like in just a second. Let's get you into the schedule here for the course because as you can see, it is extremely packed. This is a 15 week course offered in a five week period which means every single week you have an exam, you have multiple homeworks, you have discussions to complete, and you have additional video assignments, as you see here, one, two, and then the final video that are due as part of your grade, okay? I give you a general overview here. Your first discussion posts are due by Wednesday at 11.59, final posts by Friday at 11.59, these times are my course's standard time, meaning it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You must look at the RIT time signature to know when things are due, okay? Mastering homeworks, we discussed. Um, actually, that's a typo. This should say Wednesday and Friday. My apologies, I will fix that for you. Exams are going to be available from 8 a.m. on Monday, and they will be due at 11.59 a.m. on Tuesday. That's noon, not midnight, okay? You'll have 90 minutes to complete them once you begin. They are on my courses, 
and then your videos when they are due will be due by Sunday at 11:59 p.m. So the only thing you need to be careful of really with timing is this Monday 8 a.m. to Tuesday 11:59 a.m. not p.m. okay? You'll see that we're going to cover things like what is biology, macromolecules, animals and cells, energy and enzymes, cell respiration and division, genetics, evolution, and the tree of life. This is a lot to get done in five weeks, but it is totally doable. You must stay on track and caught up. If you go into content, I'm not going to go through all of this with you, but the syllabus is outlined here for you, including general course information, how to get a hold of me, course requirements and resources. If we look there, you'll see that the textbook is recommended but is optional. All of my videos for you are linked through my courses. That is the lecture material that you need. So you need to be able to access my courses. You also should be able to access YouTube in case the my courses videos are not running quite right for you. But you don't have to. YouTube is optional if everything runs through my courses for you. Your video creations, you will be creating three videos for me, including the first one, which is water and properties of water. You'll need to make these videos in a way that is comfortable for you. There's more information on that as we go along. You'll need a webcam or video camera. You can use your cell phone or tablet, that is fine, or a webcam that you have on your computer. This is not Hollywood production quality. I just need to be able to hear you or see you clearly if you are signing in the videos. Other information you might be immediately interested in is how you'll be graded in this course. So the course distribution grade for this class is participation, homework, four exams, and three video assignments. So you can see how that breaks out. This is a course that runs on the plus minus system, so you can see the grade that you must exceed in order to earn the letter grade that you want. Okay. The video assignments and the general introduction to those can be found here. You should read through this. The discussion rubric, how I will grade your discussions, is here. These are general grades. Of course, you can earn something other than a 5, 10, 15, or 20 based on whether or not you have actually completed all parts of the assignment. That is including the initial post by Wednesday and the final post by Friday. Let's look at your first unit here. Unit number one will cover chapters one, two, and three. When we look at those chapters, we're going to be looking at introduction to biology. And you see here, I give you the run times for all of these videos. This is a lot of time, but this, these are entire chapters of material. So you need to be ready to put in the time to complete everything that you need for this course. If you go down, the discussion is posted here. This is your first discussion for Unit 1. This is going to be due by Friday of Week 1, and it will walk you through what that discussion actually is. So if we look here, discussion number 1 is why study biology. So you can look at this, what I'm expecting you to generally cover. You need to post by Wednesday, June 1st, 11.59 p.m., your initial post. And then you must respond to at least one other post by Friday. More of that information is in the discussion rubric that I showed you in the syllabus. You can look at that. On my courses, you have that exam that will actually be due by Tuesday, June 7th. It will open, as I have here, 8 a.m. Monday, June 6th. Your first video assignment is here. It is due by June 5th, so 
in the first week you have mastering homework, three of them. You have a video due by the Sunday. You have an exam that begins Monday, must be completed by Tuesday. So you see there's a lot going on in a very compressed schedule. Video assignment number one asks you to look at some property of water and we cover the properties of water in the chapter material. Adhesion, cohesion, and so on. Pick your favorite and then design an experiment. Show me your experiment. Conduct a true experiment with collecting data and then present that to me in a way that demonstrates to me that you understand that property of water. Okay? So you can look at that. Let me know if you have questions. Let's go back to unit one here. Those are the things that are due. When we look at these video pages, this is where you're actually going to get that information. So your first video assignment is on water. You need to go through all of these, of course, but let's skip to water for a second. If you open this video page, you'll see that the videos are embedded here and you can click on the videos and they will play through. These videos include captioning and a sign language interpreter. Our interpreter, Chris Spencer, here. Our captions can be turned on here. And you'll see that I am not in these videos because of lack of space, really. The captioning and the interpreter take up a lot of space, so I've left my talking head out of this part. Okay, and if you go down, these are questions that are going to be very important to you as you study for the exam. You should be able to answer all of these questions in detail, more than just a yes or no sort of answer, so that you are truly ready for the exam. For every unit, you will see these series of video pages. You will also see chapter outlines for terminology, spelling, and so on. If you open those, you'll see that it goes along with my um, presentation. And then you also have some review materials. I'll post figures that I think are important, and then the video assignment itself. So all of the units are structured just like this. You shouldn't have a lot, any trouble finding um, the resources that you need. The discussion board we already looked at briefly. You can post any questions you have about the course in this top one and I will respond to those, but you can also feel free to respond to your classmates posts if they have questions and you know the answer, chime in. This is an interactive space for us, okay? You can do an introduction of yourself. This is nice um, for everyone in the course to kind of get to know who you are. I will post one as we get closer to the start of class. Why study biology is your first one. The second week will be nutrition and diet. The third week, toxins and cell respiration. And the fourth week, genetic testing. You only have four discussions due. The last week is very heavy in your final video assignment. Your Dropbox is where you're going to put your outlines that will be due for your video assignment. I need a structured outline that tells me what you're going to talk about in your video so that I make sure that your video flows with that, but also it helps me in the grading so I don't miss anything in your videos. Your video should not be uploaded here. They're actually going to be uploaded to the video server and I will give you additional details on that as we go. Exams will be in the exam section, of course. You don't get to see these yet, sorry. But exam number one, as you can see, June 6th at 8 a.m. closes June 7th at 11.59 a.m. And the same will be true for all, okay? So go back to that schedule, make sure you look through when things are going to be coming up and coming due for you over the first couple of weeks. Um, since there are only five weeks in the course, this goes very, very quickly. Let's go back to the beginning here just very fast and show you what Pearson looks like on the inside. So you will not have these instructor links. Sorry. You will have the student links on the side here. Um, you'll see that the homework will become available to you. The first intro to mastering, 
This is not a homework assignment per se, but if you open it up, it will walk you through. It's going to walk you through and make sure that your computer technology and all of your downloads and plugins are working properly and help you with that end of things so that that does not impede you on your homework. So you don't get credit for this first one, but I recommend taking a peek at it. So that's where all of your mastering assignments are. As I said, you won't be able to see all of these to start, um, but these orange assignments you do see, and I recommend working on those as we go. Don't be skipping too far ahead um, so that you're not confused, okay? In Mastering, you also have, if you get the e-text, you will have to purchase access to Mastering. It's about $65 for Mastering. It's about $90 if you add in the e-text. So if you add in the e-text, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's an electronic textbook, okay? Um, so if you are a person who likes to read and studies more efficiently in that style, then you are, of course, free to either get a hard copy of the text or the e-text itself. Um, and, you know, it's a standard textbook, right? It looks exactly like a book that you would hold in your hand. The other part of this is the study area. This is a section that's extremely beneficial to the students. Chapter one, you have to hit go so that it loads the chapter material for you. So if you change this to chapter three, molecules of cells, it just sits here. You need to hit go and it'll kick you into chapter three. You'll see there are a lot of activities. There are also extend your learning sorts of things. Students often find the practice test to be the most beneficial. It tells you what portion of the chapter it is from, helps you review for the tests themselves. Okay, so when you first click on that Pearson My Lab, and notice you have to click this lower gray box, not the green box. Even though you get the pointer finger, it doesn't always click through for you. Okay, so when you click through, the first time you do it, it will ask you if you have a course code. You, you do not because you have clicked through my courses. Do not try to access this from Mastering Biology outside. It will not work for you and will not get you to our course. You need to click through my courses. You click on the Pearson. You come to here. It will, give, it will then ask you if you have a registration code or if you need to purchase one. You may purchase one in the RIT bookstore or you can just purchase it online, whatever works for you, okay? Let me know if you have questions on that. It's worked very smoothly for students the last couple of years, so I don't think you will have any, any concerns that way, okay? So I encourage you to sit down and look through my courses. I have not taken you through everything, of course, um, but you need to, to really start digging around and finding the things you need, especially these due dates, so that you can get into the homework, you can do the discussion, you can post a response, get your video assignment together. These are all things that you can be working on as soon as the course opens on my courses. Okay. So that's the course in a nutshell. Let me know when you have questions. Email me immediately. Do not wait. If you wait, you fall behind and the course keeps going without you. Okay. Looking forward to talking to you in class in the virtual space. Have a great day.